This lesson will cover the following topics. The computer. The power supply function. Engine management control provides the injection and ignition of a precise quantity of fuel inside the combustion chamber. This operation must respond to the driver's requests while observing the various emissions standards. The injection computer is at the center of this system. The injection computer is connected to many different components. The injection computer receives information from the sensors. The injection computer controls the actuators. The injection computer exchanges information with other computers. We will look at the operation of a computer by taking the example of centralized coolant temperature management. The coolant temperature sensor converts the temperature signal into an electrical value. The computer receives this electrical value and converts it back into a temperature. The computer then compares this temperature to the programmed values stored in its memory. If the temperature exceeds the programmed value, the computer actuates the engine cooling fan assembly. The actuators can be controlled directly via a relay or via an interconnection unit such as the protection and switching unit. The injection computer can perform fault finding on electrical faults on the circuits of components linked to it. In the event of a fault, the computer switches on various warning lights according to the severity of the fault. The computer may use defect programming to compensate for the fault. Present or stored faults may be consulted using the diagnostic tool. The diagnostic tool can also display statuses and parameters, or be used to check the actuators via the command mode. Refer to the technical documentation for any injection system fault finding. On recent vehicles, injection computers may require programming. Programming is only carried out when fitting a new computer. Reprogramming a computer can be used to resolve an identified problem or to update the software. Also, when fitting a new computer, a number of programming operations need to be carried out, such as programming the immobilizer code. Since the immobilizer code programming is permanent, it is prohibited to carry out tests using an injection computer which has been borrowed from and must be returned to the parts department. In this section, we covered the following points. Engine management control provides the injection and ignition of a precise quantity of fuel inside the combustion chamber. The injection computer receives information from the sensors, controls the actuators, and exchanges information with other computers. The computer compares the information received to the programmed values. According to the values received, the computer decides whether to actuate the actuators. The injection computer can perform fault finding on electrical faults on the circuits of components linked to it. On recent vehicles, the injection computers may require programming or reprogramming. The power supply function is used to power the computer and certain actuators when the ignition is switched on. This function uses the following components. The positive after ignition feed signal and the power supply relay. When the ignition is switched on, the computer receives a positive after ignition feed signal from the ignition switch. The computer actuates the power supply relay. The power supply relay powers the computer and various components. When the ignition is switched off, the computer deactivates the relay after a certain delay. There is no defect mode program for the power supply function. If the positive after ignition feed signal does not reach the computer, the power supply relay is not activated. In this section, we covered the following points. The power supply function is used to power the computer and certain actuators when the ignition is switched on. When the ignition is switched on, the computer receives a positive after ignition feed signal from the ignition switch. 
the computer actuates the power supply relay. If the positive after ignition feed signal does not reach the computer, the power supply relay is not activated.